Hi, this is Lauren Armour reporting live for SBTV News, where community news is your news, and we are the voice for the voiceless. I am here in Boilingbrook, Illinois, on behalf of the Sherelle Bay Humanitarian Paying It Forward talk show, where we received a very powerful letter and a plea from help for a young lady that we are going to meet today. She is a single mother of five who has been disabled from a tragic accident. Not only that, but two of the five children are also disabled. And we are here today to meet up with her to make sure that we can get a sneak peek of her day-to-day -day life and just share her story with you, the viewers. And we are patiently waiting for her now to uh, for her arrival. And I Hi, how's it going? Hi, I'm fine. I'm not sure if you remember me from the Extra Space Storage, yes. Lauren Armour for SBTV News. Yes, I do. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. Can you let the world know what your name is again? It's Tamika Perkins. Tamika Perkins, um, first of all, we thank you so much for allowing us here on your property today. We received your powerful story at the Sherelle Bay Humanitarian Panda for a talk show and just wanted to capture your day-to-day -day life so people can understand that your story is real and that, you know, um, your plea for help is sincere. Um, so do you mind if we can come in and get a tour? Of course you can. All right, great. Thank you so much. Just lead the way. Turn speed. Do I want to go up? Or I want to go down. Okay. Okay. This way. Uh -huh. Oh, Miss Perkins. Um, I can't help but to notice that you just had to take your son through the garage door. Is that because you don't have a ramp or? Yes. So the easiest way for me to get him in is take him in through the garage. And through the garage, are there steps in there too, or? Yes. Yeah, see, if I if he going through the garage, it's easier for him to come, like climbing on, going up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Either for him to go in the house, through the garage, and climb up the stairs in the house. It's oh, okay, that makes sense. And you know, so you won't get his hands dirty and so on. Yes. Okay. Okay. I understand. So, it looks like it's a huge need, huh? Yes, very much a need. Okay. All right. Well, lead the way. We'll come inside with you and. Take your time. Thank you. Steps everywhere, huh? Yeah. He comes in through here. Uh huh. He comes all the way up. So he takes these stairs right here. Yes. No gunshots. No dead bodies. I'm not trying to. 
And who is this young man that right here? This is my son, Terrell. Oh, okay. How old is he? 17. 17. Think about how old you are, boy. You're getting older than me. <laughs> Hi, Terrell. My name is Lauren. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm, I'm in the way. Let me shoes. Let me go Because I'm, I'm in your way. You're going to knock me down. <laughs> so this is how he comes up the stairs every day? Yes. Every day. Up and down. Off to school and from school. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, Terrell. <laughs> okay. This is a beautiful home. Well, thank you. Let me give you guys a tour. Okay. How many bedrooms is it? Um, four. Four bedrooms. This is Terrell's room. Mm -hmm. As you see, it's like, need just a little more room for him to be able to get around, but he's fine. And this is um one of the bedroom sets that I got from the Pay and the Four. Um, yeah, so um, we met you at the extra space storage out yes. there. Okay. So, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. And I'm sure they're are they enjoying their mattresses. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. putting it to use. <laughs> and this is the other deal room set that I also received from the Sherelle Bay Pan Forward Manitarian. Definitely paid. It definitely turned out pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely better than sleeping on the floor. I tell you of that. Of course, and they have dresses and drawers where they can put their clothes in. It. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have to worry about containers all the time. All right. And where else would you like to? You lead the way. Okay. <laughs> and this is our bathroom. Mm -hmm. Which is detail is not handicap accessible. Oh, wow. So, like, that's why his wheelchair can't come up. Mm -hmm. Like, the hallway is not big enough for his chair. And I don't want to mess up um, the people's walls because I don't want to get it a fine or anything. So we leave the chair downstairs and he just comes up and crawls in school. So pretty much she barely have any elbow room in these hallways. No, that's why we need a big enough space, a bigger house, so he's able to use his wheelchair in and out. And plus myself, I have a scooter. Because mm. if I use my crutches by the floors being, if they get wet, mm -hmm. even in my kitchen, like I can fall and hurt myself. Mm. So that's a big need for us to have a big enough house. Mm -hmm where we can have it equipped for just the both of us. So okay. it's like, yeah, there's definitely stress. no room for no wheels here. You can oh, no. scratch up the wall. Man. Can't even turn around. Okay. Well, um, you go ahead and continue giving us your tour and just show us, you know, how you get by day to day. I mean, it is a pretty nice house, but it's just not, doesn't seem very convenient for you. Oh, no. <laughs> this is my kitchen. Mm -hmm. But if y'all don't mind, can I um take a second? Because me walking around so long, I need to take my leg off. Of course. No, 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 it's not a problem at all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Seasons, Hulu Originals, Movies, and live TV, sports, and news. Mm-hmm. This is what life is. We all decide to sit down and eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is your kitchen here. All right. It gotta be tiresome hopping around on one leg. Yeah, I prefer to like when I come home, I take my leg off. But it's more fact is it's either pressure on the leg that I'm standing on because it's gonna be pressure either way, or it's gonna be pressure all the way up here because the leg comes so far up. Okay. So if I'm able to, when I get in the kitchen, I'm able to sit down. Mm -hmm. And even with the leg on, if I sit down, it's pressuring me up here. Like if I try to bend over or do something like that, it hurts. Okay. So when I come in, I take my leg off. And see, I left some stuff on the table mm -hmm. just so I can move around a little bit so people can see like how hard it really is. Okay. But like,
So you gotta reach pretty high up there too. Yes. And they have a program that would come and lower the cabinets for me. Mm -hmm. Only thing about it is, by this not being my house, if I put any, um, if they come and equip the house for us, if the landlords tell me they want me to leave, mm -hmm. what will happen, I will have to pay to have everything that they put in, I'll have to pay to have it took them back out. That way if I get my own place, they won't come and do it again. I will have to pay out my pocket and have it accessible. So not myself. only that, it's like pretty much a burden in a way, right? Like as you like, I have the resource available for me, which says I don't own this place. I can't even use what's available for me because they're going to charge me even more and become more of a financial burden than already with the medical bills and everything else pretty much. Pretty much. That's, that's how it is. Okay. All right. Wow. So we can go through the, um, I guess, through the front. That's okay. All right. It's all right. Wow. Tamika, just watch you taking care of the day-to-day -day chores and, you know, bring your son from the car in the house, it just seems like it can be quite heavy sometime, right? It is, it's been 17 years, and with me, with the um, prosthetic leg, I, use, I wear it majority of the time, but then when I come home, I take it off. Like, I prefer to have it off when I come home because I'm more comfortable with it off without me having to keep bending over and it's getting, I'm getting poked with it. Right. And then by me hopping around, I'm really not supposed to hop around, but I can't really use my crutches if my kids need me, meaning I still got to put my crutches down mm -hmm. to grab plates, give food, and then I still have to be careful because um, I'm supposed to have surgery. I have um, bone over bone, as you can see, the bone of my um, knee is sticking out. Mm -hmm. So I'm like <laughs> procrastinating about having the surgery because I'm like me having to go up and down the stairs and it's not equipped. So I'm like, I'm just praying that everything works its way out wow so it just it seems like that that's a lot you know you have crutches can't really use them and especially if there's an emergency you rather hop but hopping is doing dangerous to your leg as well is that correct yes it is but i, I have a scooter i don't think about it with the scooter because my scooter helps me out a lot mm -hmm. so with the scooter like if I had enough room, I would have my scooter up here. Like, that's why my son wheelchair can come up here because it's nowhere to really go back and forth mm -hmm. and turn around. I'm like, I don't want to damage the walls or anything. So, Okay, well, that that's a lot. And, you know, I'm sure getting a little help will be a big relief for you and your family, would it not? Yes, it would be. Less stressful. Yes, and we aim for less stress. So at this time, Tamika, I would like for you to just look into the camera and let Sherelle Bay Underwood know the reason why we're here today, the reason why you're reaching out. What is it that you're calling for help for? Well, hi, Miss Sherelle Bay Underwood. I am reaching out to your show for the fact that me and my son, he was um, born with cerebral palsy. And as you see, I gave y'all a little tour of my house on how it's like in the kitchen is not accessible for like a wheelchair to go under the sink or it's not enough room for a wheelchair or a scooter to go through. And I have to do all the work on trying to get everything up in the cabinet. And if I had my house, if I had this house accessible and I moved out, I would have to pay and have everything Taken down if I move. So like that's like my biggest goal on just trying to find a house where I can stay. Rather is they let me stay for some years, not just one, two, three years, but just for some years. Or if I can find somebody who will help me get my credit together, so I can get my own house and be able to get a van for my son and I don't have to keep breaking his chair down trying to get him in and out the winter time is coming I don't want him to keep sliding in and out because when he gets excited he gets the falling out I have to try can you imagine having a prosthetic leg and your son fall out the car it's not funny but I still crack because it hurts for him to fall out the car and I have to try to pick him up and people will walk past and won't even help me and that's 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 really a cry for help for me with my son. And it's hard. Okay. 
Well, Tamika, first and foremost, we just would like to thank you for allowing us into your home. I mean, it is a beautiful home, but we can definitely see how challenging it can be just to be able to do simple tasks around the house. And um, your message has been received. You know, you caught the attention of Sherelle Bay Underwood, the humanitarian paying it for a chalk show. And rest assured, she's all about paying it for it, so we're going to do everything in our power in order to make sure that we can find the help for you. Okay? Well, thank you. I'm going to try to hold back these tears because I'm, like, really emotional and I really, really, really appreciate it. And I, whatever I can, whatever help I can get, trust and believe me, it's going to be well appreciated by me and my family. Okay. Tamika, thank you again for taking time to just talk with us. Um, and you're always going to be in our hearts and our prayers as you're going through this and know that, you know, we'll keep tabs on you. You know, and I know we'll see you soon because you did promise Miss Sherelle Bay Underwood at, you know, the extra space storage that you'll come to the show. So we're definitely looking forward to seeing you on set as well. Um, is there anything else you would like to say before we go? I would just like to tell Miss Sherelle Bay Underwood, I appreciate her and I appreciate her so much for letting me talk about the life that I'm living. But I'm not only doing this for me, I'm doing this for other people out here like myself as well. And I really appreciate you for letting me share my story with you today. Thank you. You're awesome, and thank you for being so bold to share because some people, you know, feel some kind of way with just being willing to share their testimony. So thank you again, Ms. Perkins. And you heard it right here, Tamika Perkins, a children of five, cry for help in order to make things a little bit more accessible for her and her family. I'm Lauren Armour reporting live for, for SBTV News. Back to you guys in the studio.